And that was when everything went to hell. The show letting you know it's going to be that kind of episode with a long, dramatic black screen to start things off. Ever wonder what it's like to drown? This is the villain, right? And every problem in the world will fade away. He's got that Ursula fish tank, right? Or am I making that up? He's raising Ursula demons, isn't he? There's this thing in your head. Is this a metaphor or a flashback? Have you had enough? No, this is a flashback. This happened. Oh. Is that Vander? Something about that beefy figure. A story of opposites, huh? The piece of letting go while also finding the purpose to fight. I don't know. It's one of those things where everyone needs purpose and you ignore that need at your own peril. Whether it's unconscious or not, everyone has a set of base assumptions about what their purpose is and acts towards that purpose. You know, if that didn't exist, we would be rendered totally unable to act or make decisions. We all have a set of preferences and values that enable choice. It's just a question of what those things are. And the danger is if they're not cultivated, if that's not addressed, then something will be there anyway. And it might not be what you would choose if you were making a conscious choice. There's definitely a lot of good that can come out of that as well. If it wakes you up, you know, if you feel like you've been sleeping until something really significant happens, that sort of shakes you loose. And then you kind of trade that old sort of half asleep set of values and individual purpose for something that feels more significant. But then of course there's the danger there too, where things that are emotionally compelling will be the most gripping. I don't know exactly what his motivations are, but things like revenge or survival, those are really big ones. It all depends on what you do with them and what you're willing to sacrifice. Right, she's turning herself in. I got that wrong last episode. She's not starting something with the soldiers. She's trying to end this conflict in the hopes that it'll spare the, the other kids. Very responsible. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Always have been. Yeah, it's a really bold move. Don't ever lose it. No matter how the world tries to break you. It sounds like a goodbye. He's turning himself in. He really just threw it on that flight of stairs, though, didn't he? I'm not putting you away, Amanda. The council needs its pound of flesh. He's too valuable. Without you down here. It all falls apart. Right. I feel like it's already gonna fall apart no matter what you do. Oh, Vander, no! Imagine hearing this right now. You won't be coming back for a long time. I know. It's a bold move, but also I feel like part of him is just tired. He's been holding it together by a thread, it seems. And now that thread is gone. Was there something else happening? This guy's about to get it. Oh my god, yeah. What is it? Is it the the drugs? Oh my god, I thought because of her voice actor she'd be around for a while. This sort of flips the script, doesn't it? But you, I tried to drown you. I mean, I thought you were dead. So much for him running things. This is the kid, right? The kid who didn't need much convincing to drink the juice. A deal! <gasps> He just got knocked out though, right? There's a lot to watch happen. Pretty bold move fighting both the people of this district and the, the military police at the same time. Obviously the guy's got a lot of confidence in whatever he's doing. This entire time I thought I needed to dampen the oscillations. This is back to Jace. Yeah, back to the light. Well, we could test it if we had access to my equipment. Jace is gonna save society with what? science magic. Not without the crystals. The enforcers took them all, they're gone. I think I know where you can find some. I know a character who carries them in her pocket. Scientists seek discoveries. Ways to make the world a better place. There you go. Hextech dream of yours. And nothing ever went wrong through the aim of improving life through science. It only goes right. Everyone's about to get helped. He probably saw everything too. This kid sees everything. I saw everything. Yeah. <laughs> what about Vander? He's still alive. They took him. Yeah. And suddenly V is in a position that she really has no business to be in. She's not quite ready for. I think I differed somewhat in my initial assessment of her than other people do. Like I, I thought in the first couple episodes, she seemed in way over her head, not in terms of her abilities or talents necessarily, because she obviously has a lot of those, but in terms of her recklessness and disposition, like she seemed to be seeking approval, right? It wasn't like this balanced level-headed action where it was for the, the good of her community. It was like, I can't wait to be seen as an adult and be a part of things. But she was just a little bit out over her skis, if that makes sense. And that's sort of, I think, why that catastrophe happened and why it's really satisfying that she sought to take responsibility because that was a moment of maturation. And I think actually that works better. I think that's great setup because now, given the fact that she wasn't quite ready and that she is eager, now she's suddenly in way over her head and has way more than she ever bargained for. So she got what she wanted, but in the worst way. But the result of that is now she has no choice but to 
be this thing she was naively trying to be in the beginning. And now she does that with added weight because she saw what her actions last time did for the people she cared about and all the calamity it brought down upon them. So she's not the same person that she was at the start of the show already. It's a little crude, I'll admit. The base violence necessary for change. But we both know Topside won't listen to anything else. Huh, it's very interesting. For respect. Opportunity. Everything they've denied us. The nation of Zorn. To go way back. Do you even remember? Goes deep. Yeah, he remembers. Probably haunts him every day. I've never forgiven myself. Yeah, of course. You are my brother. What could have caused that kind of rift? Yeah, it must have been a, a big event for him to try to do that. But as time passed, so did my hate. And I was left with an understanding. Speaking of connecting it to a vision, he's found something sweeter. To become what they fear. Until you made peace with them. Played lapdog after everything we suffered. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's really interesting what's being set up between them and V also. The three of them are not really separated by side all that much. You know, they're all sort of in the same place with the same understanding of the evils that have been imposed upon them, from their point of view at least. I mean, V herself was just talking about this. Like, we have to fight them, right? That's basically in line with what this guy is saying to a large degree. But from that place, you have the two men in this scene at different stances on what that means, and neither are satisfying, right? One is, well, they struck first so the solution is destroy you know by any means necessary to right the injustices we've experienced right and then vander on the other side recognizes that that is a mistake but to me it doesn't totally feel like idealism part of it feels like exasperation and defeatism it's hard to say what he would do if he really believed that they had a chance to win if he hadn't been sort of burned by his failings in the past and all the mistakes he's made and the carnage that he's witnessed that he feels responsible for but that creates an interesting opportunity for sort of option C, where you win or you improve the lives of your people without becoming the evil that you see. I think it's so easy, and in fact, I was worried about this for the characters, as well as for the audience, that the way it was gonna go was, well, the people on the top are just evil, and this is like an underdog story, right? And we gotta destroy them. I think there's a lot of people that would be able to fully go along with that that story, because people who are in positions of affluence can easily become this sort of enemy class. And there might be a little bit of that in the show, like the aristocracy seems sort of snooty, pish posh, etc. But there's this sort of ideological vacuum, it feels to me, where no one is quite getting it. There's no hero here, which creates a very interesting opportunity for, I'm guessing, V or maybe another character, even though they're not ready. It's kind of exciting. I had no choice. Yeah, it's this kind of thing, like, this defeatism. You do. There's nothing I could do. We have the power. This double agent thing. You'd sacrifice everything that we are. It's not the way. Can't you see that? When you're facing what you feel is death, you got nothing to lose. He was pushed to the brink. Who's this unsavory character? Looks like Vander's about to get that Ursula juice. Willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. Right? The He's a convicted man, our Jace. And Ivan is his name? Even if you manage to prove your theory, the council would destroy it. Yeah, but she's interested. That's why she's asking questions. Yeah, he already does. She's curious too. It scares them all. Yeah. That's right. I recognize that any worthwhile venture involves risk. That's right. Let Jace spread his wings. <laughs> it's going to change our world. That's for damn sure. Please. Just give us a chance. Where does that put Jace exactly in this battle? Well, if the enforcers hit tonight, we'll be ready. I think. Dibs on the bat. No, you no, don't no, know I what has it. happened. I found it. Respect the dibs. They're still living in innocence. This is all about to end. They took Vander. Who took Vander? I don't know, but I need to help him. We're going with you. Whatever killed Betso was like nothing I've ever seen. Was well, like something you fought. In a sense. Do we know where they took him? This is a critical moment for her. Are they gonna take her or not? I need you to sit this one out, Powder. Oh what? I oh afraid. it's too dangerous. But a family stick together, you said it yourself. You're not ready. I agree, but also that hurts. If they come for you, take this hit him with this wherever pepper you shaker. Light it up and I'll find you. I promise. Couldn't at least give her a real weapon. <laughs> Gotta give her a cheese grater. 
that absolutely sucks for Powder, but I think it's one of those things where it's only a mistake now because of mistakes that have already happened, if that makes sense. There was good intention there, you know, wanting Powder to be a part of things, wanting her to grow up. But I think part of it was a reflection of V's weakness as well, where she was trying to prove herself to the world. And so she kind of projected that same energy on those around her. It's hard to explain, but I can feel it. It's not totally concern, right? There's a judgment in there somewhere. It's like a parent who wants success for their child, but their vision of success is somewhat narrow based on the fact that they have very specific fears about themselves and what the world is and how one has to navigate the world. And so that ends up being baggage more than it ends up being help in a lot of cases. There's a difference between objectively evaluating someone's behavior and drawing a conclusion based on that and having an emotional reaction to someone's behavior. I think if the emotion is present, it probably means it's it's triggering some kind of insecurity. And the things that rile us up in others are the very same things we haven't yet squared away in ourselves. Maybe I'm overreaching a little bit, but it feels like, at least to a certain extent, Powder has inherited some of this anxiety that V has about having a place, being able to handle yourself. In fact, it might even have been exacerbated even worse by the fact that she's not as capable as V and keeps getting feedback that she's a waste of space or whatever, you know? So that was a major blow for Powder that I don't feel was a mistake in this moment, but sort of becomes a mistake because it's riding on the back of previous mistakes because who knows how she's gonna take that. It's all here. For science. Yeah, this looks stable. You just put it in with your hands too, your bare hands. I love how he asks that question after he inserts the magic orb into the device. Hold on a second. Are you sure this isn't going to kill us all? Are you sure? <laughs> this is science, though. You know it's good science when you gotta tell your partner to trust you. I'd say she's taking this well. I feel like this is about to be a big symbolic moment. Alright, she didn't smash it. That's good. She's about to get the power. The power to actually affect outcomes. I can help them. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh. It'll be extra bad if she shows up Let's and messes things job. up. That would just confirm everything that everyone is fearing. That's what's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> She's gonna show up and blow it. Well, into the abyss we go. It's never done that before. All right, here we go. They actually pulled it off. I always believed they would. It's all right, everything's fine. Got it under control. Trust us. Trust me. We're still good. It's really good that they built that cancel button. It's an interesting place to put them. <laughs> Just in this hallway. Seems a little bit. Vi. Vi, not V. Whoops. It was easy. We found an open window and. Oh, well, too. You have to get out. Easy. He comes in with a slow clap. Congratulations. How condescending. Maybe Powder could help? Do I dare to believe? You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. This is not your teenage alley alleyway street fight. It's got the, the gauntlets. That's alright, it's an RPG. Size matters less. It's about your stats. There you go. He's gonna find him one at a time. <laughs> or not. All at a time. Not enough dexterity points. Take a breath. <laughs> this pep talk. We're gonna get you out. This guy looking confident all of a sudden. <laughs> Help them. Prove them wrong. Give this kid a break. He's like fiending for it. Doesn't take much convincing now. This is gonna be one of those RPG battles that you have to lose. That's not it. Yeah. All right, bought him some time. You did good. Yeah, for real. Uh oh, this guy's got his nagging, nagging face on. Someone's come to spoil the fun. I know that look when I see it. Is he doing this from memory? Yes, we have done it. We have unlocked the power of moving things from where it was to where it would have gone anyway. Actually, done it. <laughs> Just because it can be done. Stop. Stop with the sour grapes. This is not what Piltover's future looks like. 
my dear boys. Yeah, I think the future is just not you. Of course he's gonna be validated at some point, but... It's Jace's time now. Jace and Ivan. You have to work for me, okay? I love how this guy's escaper is literally just breaking through the wall. He's got a heart. She put the crystal on it. She doesn't know what she's doing. Unlike Jace, who is totally in command. This will add a little special... special something. A little special sauce to my toy. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work a lot, I think. Like, a lot. Yep. Did she just get... she got blasted. It's still going. Oh no, oh no, please don't let anyone... she cares about get hurt. <gasps> oh my god, no. Oh my god. Don't let anyone get hurt, I said. Don't let anyone get hurt. Of oh, course, he's fine. Oh. That's not how she wanted that to go. Well, that kid died, but at least we got to be right about Powder. So there's that. I knew she was going to mess it up. I thought that meant she would get in the way, slightly, and then would get like a scolding and then be bitter. Instead, she killed all her friends. And not the enemy. I don't think the scolding... Golding is relevant, really. Well, if they wanted to escape their innocence... I don't even know where you go from here, honestly. How did she take out everyone but the villains? Like, none of the villains got hurt, except for that the lady who lost her arm or something. At least he's shown some life. This is familiar. Comes full circle. I knew you still had it in you. Ah. Maybe the juice. Sprinkle some juice in your mouth. Find the girl. He's not dead. Remember me? Yeah. I wonder how much control he has in this state. He's still in there. He messed up throwing him on the, throwing him on top of that pile of Ursula juice vials. And this is all happening at the same time that Jace is having this magical breakthrough. I guess it's not a cure-all. Take care of powder. Yeah, she's gonna need it. That was abrupt. At least he got to go out heroically. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Give her give her a break. She's got enough coming her way already. What? You don't need to. Why did you do this? I, I didn't. No, no, no. I was saving you. I told you to stay away! Oh no! Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx. Do you hear me? Milo was right. No, 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 no. It was already like the worst possible situation. And it just got worse somehow. You got a, a big chance right now. You just say something. Say something positive. Please, I need you, please. She's already in the worst possible hell she could be in. Have some sympathy. You know, it's tough. <gasps> it's all about who is there to show up at your worst moments. I'll kill you if he hears you. No, I don't think I don't think he's gonna hurt her. I think I think they just linked up. Where's your sister? All she wants right now is anyone to just talk to her. <laughs> she attack, but also she hug. She is not my sister anymore. It's okay. He knows a little bit about sibling betrayal. We will show them all. And with just the right combination of misfortune and neglect. Powder becomes a, a villain. It's a lot of little mistakes, a lot of tiny cuts that led to this. 
Big oof. Well, that hurt like hell, even though it was all there from the beginning. It didn't make it any easier at all. It all starts with that first mission, right? There's this weird devil's bargain thing happening here because V got what she wanted, but paid the biggest price. And Powder proved she could be effective, but in just the absolute worst way imaginable. Essentially and tragically, forcefully ending their childhoods, which they were so desperately trying to discard. There were a lot of mistakes made, and in fact, I feel a lot of them were made before this episode began. It just seems like we were on these railroad tracks to disaster, given the, the framework that the characters were operating from. But for me, I think the biggest mistake, the one that hurts the most, that probably would have gone a really long way and prevented a lot of suffering, is as difficult as it would have been to have recognized that Powder was already sufficiently suffering for her actions and would continue to suffer even more deeply with the knowledge of what she just did. You know, there's at least some solace in the fact that it was an accident. You know, there's ways to go with that, I think, to recover. But by V casting her aside like that in her worst moment, basically just pressed that personal hell even more deeply upon her to the point where anything is preferable. Like anything is preferable to being in that hell, especially alone like that. Powder's actor, I think, did a really, really great job of that scene. The grief really came through. See, so yeah, I was right about it all going to hell. I didn't think it would be quite that hellish. But now I'm guessing we get a time skip because Powder's gonna grow up, right? And then we'll just see where society's at with the invention of this magic turned science and this new alliance and V as an adult.